All right, I'm gonna pull the tank out and put an inspection port on it um, and clean it out, I guess, because maybe that'll be a problem. I, I would do that. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of gunk in that fuel. This little fuel pump works pretty good. I just bought it at Harbor Freight. Really only needed to work for this one project. Gotta hear you bug. Bugs are everywhere, man. Interestingly enough, The fuel gauge still reads full when the tank is empty, so that's pretty cool. A tight squeeze. Looks like I need to take off this hose to get the fuel tank off, so I'm gonna close off this through hole using my pipe extension. All right, fuel tank is out. I'm gonna put this uh, little hatch in there so I can clean it all. I'm gonna clean the tank off uh, before I start on that, just because it's kind of nasty. That's looking a million times better now. Let me just trace this on here. I'm sure this is probably the wrong type of plastic or something to use. Y'all will let me know, but I think it'll work fine. All right, now I have a hole almost in my fuel tank. And, uh, hopefully it will fit my hatch over here. Hopefully. Oh, look at that. Sometimes life just works out for you. Okay, let's see how it looks like in here. All right, here's the inside of the tank. For the very first time. Now I'm just going to put some sealant around here, and then in its home it goes. Looks pretty nice. Um, I'm just going to use this uh, varnish strainer to, to filter some of that fuel before I uh, put it back in. Yeah, definitely getting out a lot of stuff. That's good. I'd say that was probably worthwhile. We got a whole lot of gunk out of there. That was five gallons. Um, and then there's quite a, a, a lot left in the bottom of the bucket. Just finished cleaning out the diesel tank and put the fuel back in there. And sure enough, cleaning all that gunk out of there made my leak. I thought I had a leak at the, originally when I bought the boat and then it stopped leaking. But cleaning out the gunk seems to have opened it up again. It's leaking pretty good now. So, looks like I gotta pull the fuel back out. And now the fuel tank has to come out. Only problem, it's, it's too big to come out of here. I don't know how they got it in. I'm trying to take off the door. Maybe that'll give me a little bit of extra room. We'll see. Oh, that did the trick. Ah. I think I'm just going to get this six gallon plastic tank because it's taken me months to go through six gallons of fuel. Transfer the fittings between these two. Um, this tank here doesn't have a... Uh, it doesn't, it has a vent, that's why I got this one, but it doesn't have a return. So I think I can just use this to put a return in there. Just thread that in. Um, and the cool thing is since the sender is broken, um, this one has a uh, fuel gauge. So now I know how much fuel I have. And this is six gallons, and then I also have my five gallon uh, fuel can in there. So that'll, get, so that'll give me like 11 gallons of fuel. And I think in the Last two, three, three months, I only went through five gallons of fuel I figured out. So uh, I think this will be playing, playing them out for me. Um, so it looks like I need a different size one of these. Um, I have to take to like the hardware store. Um, or if that doesn't work, I could just screw this probably into there too. I'm getting rid of, so I'm getting rid of this tank. I want to see if I can salvage this inspection 
hatch. It's brand new. This looks like the one, looks like it threads in there. Yeah, it's airtight. Let's drill some holes into my brand new fuel tank. It's thicker than I thought. All right. So this will be the uh, vent and the um, uh, fuel return from the fuel pump or the injector pump. Uh, this new fitting. All right. I think this thing's ready to strap on, strap on in there. We have fuel line, return line, and vent. All hooked up. I need to tighten this guy up. I might stick some uh, tie downs here to so keep it from moving around too much, but I think time to test it out soon. I am honestly kicking myself for not getting one of these things sooner. They're like 20 bucks and they make all fueling stuff so much easier. It would have been really nice having these when I had my my old boats without boards. Um, it's just so much less messy. Been running for about five minutes and it seems good, so I think we're in the clear. I'm gonna measure how much water the engine's um, pumping just so I have a baseline because it seems to be running pretty well right now. So it took a minute and 40 seconds to fill the five gallon bucket at 1500 RPM, so that's my new baseline if i have any trouble in the future i can i can measure it and see if it's really in my head or something's up this is the head that came with the boat i really don't don't like this thing i think it needs to have all the seals and whatever replaced and the valve the joker valve thing and i don't really want to do it also this thing is the vented loop is not working um I'm gonna just take it out and replace it with a composting toilet. I'm really not looking forward to this project, but I'm not looking forward to fixing this thing either. So I think this is the better option, just get rid of it. My main complaints are that it makes the boat smell. I think the hoses are old, they need to be replaced if I wanted to keep using it. Uh, it also, the uh, seals are bad, so you have to pump it in ex excess an amount of times just to get it to flush. Um, even when it is pumped out, you go back to it and then it will fill back up with uh, the stuff from the the kind of back flowing from the holding tank. So that's really annoying. It makes it smell even more. It sprays salt water at you. So it needs to have those seals replaced on the pump. I also don't have a macerator pump or gravity system to, to empty the tank. So my only way to empty my holding tank is to have it pumped out. Um, none of the marinas around here would let me use theirs, uh, except for like I found like one that was gonna charge me $30. It seemed kind of ridiculous. There's one spot where they'll come out to you if you go and anchor. Uh, but last time I went out there, it waited almost an hour for the guy. And then he wasn't able to pump my tank out. Either it was something wrong with my system or his. I ended up using a manual bilge pump and emptied it into five gallon buckets. It was disgusting. So I'm pretty much just done with this thing. Closing up all the valves. Uh, I guess I start pulling things off. This is like Russian roulette. Oh. That's just salt water, hopefully. Okay, the toilet is free. There's just one hose. And this one scares me. I felt when I took that one out of the camper. <laughs> yeah. Like, yes! Done with that thing. Yeah, you I have a black right. bag you can put it in? A garbage bag before you... I don't think, I don't think there's any waste in here because I pumped so much water through it. Okay. All right, phase two, the holding tank, the black water tank. Uh, 
I am not looking forward to this. Start by removing this uh, this hose, um, and then we'll start working on that tank. Okay, I got the smelly hose out. Now there is no more messing around. <laughs> it's time. Phew! Get this tank out. 24 gallons. It's out. Whew. Only a little bit of mess out here. I don't think I spilled any in there. That is great. That is great. Let's hose that down. I suppose I might as well clean up some of this uh, dust. That looks better. So I'm going to be installing this five gallon bucket composting toilet and I just uh, going to have a fan and a hose that goes up to here just to kind of help dry it out. Love that itself back together. I put some 3M VHB tape and that's going to go right right here. This is zip tied in place. And now I'm gonna cut the bottom, like right here. Here it is all finished up. I got this guy zip tied up top. And it just runs down here. It runs down here. And uh, I cut my toes too short the first time. Um, and then that it just attaches to the top of the uh, toilet seat. If I need to use it, I just pull it off. And uh, there's the fan in there. Um, I still need to connect the wire. But uh, over here I got some uh, the coconut medium stuff. I can just dump a little bit of that on top um, whenever I need to. And then I can put my toilet paper in here. Um, and then urine in the uh, Nalgene bottle. This one glows in the dark. I think eventually I might make like a, uh, a plywood cutout for all this stuff. Uh, just to hold it in a little easier than this rope. But I think this will work pretty good for now. Much better than the, the previous setup. And I, this will last me, you know, at least a, a week or two. Uh, depending on how much I'm using it, how many people are with me. And then as far as bugs, um, there is a mesh up here. So I think that will keep them out of the vent. I've never had a problem with them in the past. I know some people do. I think using the coconut uh, medium stuff is uh, supposed to be good for that. Uh, but then again, with this small, you know, system, I'm kind of get a restart, you know, every couple of days or week whenever I empty it. I think a holding tank probably can work fine if you have, you know, a macerator pump or a system of emptying it and everything's set up right and you have, you know, new hoses and then the right type. And, um, you know, if you have a good setup, I'm sure it probably works fine for some people. But just, you know, the, the amount of work, it would, projects it was going to take me to get to that point um, is, was just, it, this was a no brainer. I mean, uh, you know, you can do it without the vent. I've done it before, but you know, it does start to smell after, you know, maybe four or five days without, without the vent. I've never tried the vent. So we're going to, I'm going to see if that make, gets me a little bit more, um, time between emptying. Um, yeah, we'll see. Thanks for watching. I am currently, uh, sailing down to the Everglades with my friend. And, uh, so there'll be some more sailing videos coming up. Hopefully I'll be able to find some internet not too far off the coast to uh, so I could post this video. I'll see you guys soon.